Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Video Catcher mobile review. In this video I'll be talking about the LG Secret, the Samsung i8510 or Innovate, the Nokia N96 and the LG KC550. To start off with I shall be going through the LG Secret, showing you some video footages and basically saying of what I think of the phone. I shall be talking about the other phones the information that I have on the other phones is from the internet. I have seen video samples of these different phones. But I can sort of comment on them, but like I say, I haven't physically had them in my hands. What I talk about is stuff that you could find on the internet yourselves. The LG Secret. This, I would still say, is quite a good phone. The battery life, oh, you can't see it really. The battery life has still been quite good. I fully charged it yesterday, I've been using the camera a lot, both stills and with video capture and so far it's still on full full bars on the battery side. So far it is still quite good, I don't have any problems with the battery life. It records in 30 frames per second, I checked all of the settings except for the 176 setting which is the text message setting, but all the other settings record in 30 frames per second except for the slow motion which only records in 15 frames per second but the fast motion records in 30 frames per second as well which I was quite impressed with. The highest resolution is 640 by 480 VGA it also has a widescreen capability on it like the Vue-T had it records in AVI, files and 3GP it's a slide phone, it has 100 megabytes of onboard memory and it also has a micro SD slot where you can put a card in and I think it's up to 4 gig that you can use on it. Generally speaking I would say this is a good phone. If you've used the Vue-T and you're used to touch screen and you want to upgrade to a slide phone but keep all of the features of the LG Vue-T, well most of them anyway, then I would suggest getting this phone. There were two things that sort of so far has annoyed me a little bit about this. One is that when you slide it open sometimes you can hit the touch sensitive keys which has sort of sent me into the uh, internet browser and stuff like that which is a little bit annoying but also as far as the video camera is concerned on the higher resolution camera setting if you're in a low light situation you can put the brightness up so you put it up which obviously makes the picture a lot brighter but when you click the record button uh, it returns to default for some reason I don't know why whether that's just this phone I don't know but I did try it in the other formats like the 320 which is the QVGA and it didn't have that problem I also tried to use the night mode in the higher setting and again it went back to default I don't think it has on the 320 so maybe it's just the higher resolution one that it can't do that on but with all of that said you can use the flash when you record video which I think is quite good the view didn't have that and OK, the range is limited, but if you're talking to someone in pitch black and you, could, you can basically point it at them and you can record their face as long as they don't mind a big shining light in their face. So that is that sort of rectifies the other problem, really. Right, now I'm going to take you through some of the video capture that I did. First of all, we have some of me in my garden this morning. There are parts of it where it goes dark, but I think that's because of the light getting in the camera. But other than that, generally speaking, the quality of the picture is quite good, I would say. At least as good as the beauty, anyway. Next we have a bit of fast motion that I did. I actually did a few bits where I tried to do it a little bit slower because I thought the fast motion went a bit too quick. The next bit is a bit of zoom in that I did. The zoom in on this, I thought, was a lot better than the beauty, and in fact, I would say it's probably the best zoom in that I've seen on any of the 5 megapixel uh, camera phones that I've used. I'm not sure of what the zoom in is like on the camera part of it, but as far as the video is concerned I would say it's got really good zoom on it. And lastly we have the what I would call the night shot in my bedroom with the curtains closed. Now you can just about make out stuff there, it is quite dark, but then not many people have a real call for using their phones in pitch black. You can use the flash. Whether the flash would make a lot of difference in that sort of situation, I don't know. And that is the video capture. That is the LG Secret. 
Now we have the N96. It's a 5 megapixel camera. It records in 30 frames per second on VGA. The resolutions is 640 by 480. It records in MPEG format. It is a dual slide phone. It has 16 gigabytes of onboard memory. And if that wasn't enough, you can also put a micro SD card in it as well. I don't know what the restrictions are on the micro SD card. To be honest with you, 16 gig is more than enough to cover all of what you want to do. It is quite a chunky phone. Recently I saw an N95 8 gig and I was quite impressed with it and the size didn't affront me that much. I am coming around to the more the sort of more chunky phones, but I do prefer the slimmer phones like this. As far as the N96 is concerned, it does have quite good stuff on it, like it's got a little rest on it so that you can stick it on a table and you can watch telly or watch a video on it without having to hold it, which I think is quite cool. And that is the N96. Now for the Samsung i8510 or Innovate. It is an 8 megapixel camera. It records in 30 frames per second VGA. It also records 120 frames per second, which I think is the slow motion capability. The resolution is 640 by 480. It records in MP4 format. It is a slide phone. It has 16 gigabytes of onboard memory and also it has a micro SD card slot on it. It does look quite impressive and to be honest with you, if I had the choice between the Samsung and the N96 then I would probably go with the Samsung purely because it has an 8 megapixel camera on it and apparently it has got a lot more stuff on it than the N96 has. They are both classed as smartphones again because of the internet capability and all that sort of stuff as far as looks are concerned and general capabilities I think that the Samsung is better than the N96 but again I haven't had them physically in my hands so I can only go by what the internet tells me and that is the Samsung i8510 lastly we have the LG KC550 this is a 5 megapixel camera phone it records in WVGA format which is 720 by 480 I think which is a lot bigger than the the other phones I think that it's if you plugged it into your telly then the quality of the picture would be a lot better than if you plugged in the secret or the N96 I have seen video samples of this phone and it did look about the same as the beauty the reason why I've included it in my mobile review is that apparently it is really cheap and for a 5 megapixel camera it's probably on par with the G600 now I had the Samsung G600 and the sound quality of it was a bit naff to be honest as far as I've seen for the spec of this LG phone it is more or less identical to the secret but without the tempered glass and the swanky look it also has a cool slide that goes over the actual camera lens which I think is quite cool and for a cheap phone it has quite a lot of spec on it so if you don't have a lot of money and you want to get a high spec phone then I would say go with this because there's no touch screens involved it is generally basic and I think the battery life is meant to be really really good it would be a good cheap phone to get so there you go that is the LG KC550 now all of the information I have got is from various different websites on the internet um, one of them being the mobile review and also the new mobile which is, they are quite good for getting information and spec and GSM I think is quite good as well if you have any questions about any of these phones then I will try and answer them as best as I can if you're like me and you're interested in the video recording then I would suggest looking at the LG Secret because it is quite a nice phone and as a slide phone it is quite good Again, I'm not really sure about the battery life issue. I shall let you know as and when I find out. I hope this has been helpful and I hope you enjoyed it and I shall do another one later on. Okay then, bye bye.